Where is your emergency? I just, I'm southwest bound on uh, Llewellyn, and I just saw an animal that looked like a small lion. It had the mange and everything. Baby lion in Collie Avenue and 50th Street. Hey, I'm driving down Granby Street right before the zoo, and there was a lion that ran across the street, a baby lion. It was about the size of a Labrador Retriever. That morning, two police officers came to my office. And they asked me, said, Dan, said, where's Charlie at? I said, he's around here somewhere. And he said, well, we had uh, orders to shoot to kill a lion. Fortunately, no lion was shot. Not even a dog who looked like a lion. But what did happen was that dog became an international celebrity with appearances on national television and over 56,000 friends on Facebook. As his owner, Daniel Painter, tells it, the world is in love with Charles. Charles has brought so much joy to so many people, it's really been wonderful. And with all the fame and recent press, he's really become an international phenomenon. But there's no greater satisfaction to watch children's eyes get real big and then crinkle with delight the first time they see Charles. By producing this book in print and also in the format of e-books, we can make it available to children all around the world. Just imagine a child in Africa, China, England, anywhere in the world, discovering the imaginary and real story of Charles the Lion Dog. If Charles only knew what kind of impact he's been making on these kids, it would be incredible. He brings happiness to tons of kids, nursing homes, fundraisers, and he's having fun and we enjoy helping people. When Charles the Lion Dog needs a trim, it can be quite a process, but groomer Daisy Wilson of Muddy Paws has had Charles as a client for a long time and knows just how to coax the lion share of, well, lion out of his thick fur. Charlie is a really good dog. Charlie's been coming here for a while now. It, it's been an experience having him come in, that's for sure. He's my superstar. <laughs> I'm definitely amazed at the attention that he got. It's a big thing for someone to call and think he's a baby lion. I'm proud of that. Charles is one lion-hearted pooch. Ever since he became an international media sensation earlier this year, he has focused that fame into a force of good. He and his owner, Daniel Painter, give freely of their time to visit schools, retirement homes, and Alzheimer's groups. Charles participates in cancer fundraisers, and he works like a dog, uplifting spirits and putting smiles on the faces of children with disabilities. But all that effort requires a lot of maintenance and upkeep, not the least in the beauty department. Being the king of the urban jungle in Norfolk requires looking like one for every public appearance. Charlie was just in last week. Um, we've been bringing him in uh, about once a week now to help keep his mane in order because he gets knotted up pretty quickly. When he gets his bath, he's usually about an hour or so. When he gets his hair cut, just a haircut, he usually runs anywhere between three to four. Um, and if he gets dyed, it's usually about a five hour process. Sorry, I know it's pink. I apologize. <laughs> it's the mint. There you go. Okay, you gonna smell like a man? This stuff smells great though. It lasts a while on them too. See, it's called lavish for him. There you go. He's all done. You ready? You ready? All right, go ahead, Charlie. <laughs> Wait, two Wait two days behind that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Just right there behind this one. Okay. okay. Chesapeake artist Pamela Barcita has illustrated 22 children's books, which have won multiple Mom's Choice Awards. Charles and his owner Daniel Painter and author Professor Joseph Daniel recently visited Pamela to see how far along she was with the book. It was the first face-to-face -face meeting of the artist and her subject. Charles, would you like to come and see how your book's coming along? 
You can see in this picture, you are with your young master on the football field. I'm getting the grass around your feet right now, and pretty soon I'm going to paint your beautiful fur. He always has his tongue out. You are being immortalized in paint, <laughs> and you're going to be in every child's bookcase. Charles was just as curious as Dan and Joe about Pamela's painting style and watched her intently as she worked. Now they're going to have pictures of it too. What do you think? Huh? What do you think, Charles? Now the first layer of color is going to be very light and I'm just getting the, the basic underlying color in and then I'll get darker where I need shadows and get the detail of the fur in there. This is the, the color study I did for the cover. Uh, I will be going by this and tightening it up for the, the final artwork. Well, Charles, are you enjoying this? I hope so. Yes, you're very patient. All of this area, this green and blue here, will go all the way up. And then Here's a quick sneak peek at how that final cover art turned out. Charles and I would like to thank you for your support and send you a kiss. Give him a kiss, Charles. Give him a kiss. <laughs>